well Priya, this is a special broadcast basically to highlight the deteriorating law and order situation in Meghalaya, particularly capital Shillong. Now, what we are assuming at this point is that mystery miscreants, miscreants are on the prowl to terrorize people, terrorize ordinary citizens as well as tough government leaders and their weapon of attack weapon to terrorize the common man as well as top officials including the deputy chief minister seems to be the petrol bomb now in less than a month there have been seven petrol bomb attacks in 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 money in in meghalaya six of them in capital shillong and one in joy now this is a very very systematic kind of an attack you just come hurl a petrol bomb create panic create terror and just roam around and roam around scot-free absolutely because the police have not been able to identify or clamp down on this petrol bomb uh, throwers so people who are lobbying petrol bomb at places uh, including that uh, of the deputy chief minister S. Dhar, uh, his house at Nong Min Song in Shillong was attacked with a petrol bomb. A former major general of the Indian Army, who is the currently director of personnel of NIPCO, his car was attacked with a petrol bomb. Rajesh Kumar Jha, retired major general, he faced the brunt of a petrol bomb attack, and so on. And uh, Maulai police station was attacked. These are these are miscreants who are absolutely defiant. They are targeting symbols of uh, the Indian state, symbols of the governmental authority. They are hurling petrol bombs at Maulai police station. That is the police. They are directly targeting the police. They have hurled a bomb at a retired major general who is the director of personnel NIPCO. They are even hurling a petrol. Don't hesitate. They did not hesitate to hurl a petrol bomb at the residence of the Meghalaya deputy chief minister. In this scenario, where is the security of the common man there is total panic now several questions arise who are these people who are throwing petrol bombs in Meghalaya at regular intervals who are these people now the police are absolutely silent they have not been able to provide any answers if the Meghalaya police knows who are behind and are not telling the public as to who, do, who they are that's too bad if they are an absolutely clueless that only talks and raises a question mark on their capacity to crack cases, mm. on their efficiency. It's a question mark on their efficiency. So if, they're, if they know who are the attackers and trying to, uh, trying to protect their identity by not disclosing who they are to the public, too bad. If they are know that is too bad and if they are unable to find a clue as to who these people are who are throwing petrol bombs and creating turmoil, creating a fierce psychosis, in the most important tourist hub in the northeastern region, most one of the most popular tourist hubs in the northeastern region that reflects very poorly on the Meghalaya government headed by Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and his colleagues. Now, these are questions which uh, we are asking today. Who is going to answer? Where is the DGP L. Bisnoy? Will he going to give us answers? We know he is touring the entire state because we get that in, from his social media posts. Now the question is, will he answer as to who these people are? What action has the police taken? Has the police been able to get a clue as to who these petrol bomb throwers are? Now the second question that arises is, why is such attacks, why are such attacks being carried out by the miscreants? If they are protesting, they are protesting against what? Hmm. So these are some of the questions. Who are these people? I am, I am joined on this special broadcast by Dr. A. W. Rani, a leader of the VPP, a member of the media cell. Uh, Dr. Rani, what do you think? Because it is it is not happening in a remote part of Meghalaya. Uh, I mean, it is happening right in capital Shillong. Six bomb attacks, six petrol bomb attacks in less than a month, and one of course is the second uh, important town in Meghalaya. Uh, in Meghalaya, that is Joy. Uh, what is going on, uh, Dr. Rani? May I come in, sir? Yes, please. Okay. First of all, thank you, Wasbir, for this opportunity. Please go ahead, yes. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay, sir. Uh, please give me some time. Please go ahead. Answer the question. Uh, What's going on all, in Meghalaya? Okay, sir. First of all, 
let us put this into perspective that not is india in general including meghalaya is a hotbed of ethnic conflicts we don't want this conflict we condemn any kind of conflicts but we have seen this over the years so with special reference to meghalaya i would like to put into perspective regarding certain developments that have taken place in the, in, in the state with regard to law and other situation recently recently on the 27 of march 2024 there was one incident in ishamati yes in the shela bholakan crd block where two persons were killed who killed them allegedly killed who killed them how it happened that i do not know it is only the police who will be able to answer that out of which the police department intervened the situation and very immediately after that two ksu leaders were arrested from cherapanji out of which there was a mass protest of the people marching to the police station protesting on the illegitimate arrest on the two members of the ksu that happened on the 27 of march 2024 then after that we saw the series of bomb blasts of course first of all with the one that has been halted at the house residence of the deputy chief minister the attack at the vehicle of nipco director those things happen and it keeps on happening in the last few days right right uh, state right uh, now now uh, uh, let me, let me, let me, yes no, i want to i want to put this one sir that out of which again the ksu leaders were were arrested and there was a must uh, there was some sort of a protest against that also so out of which these developments have taken place what i would like to say is this that meghalaya is still in the mode of protest 2019 people protested against caa cab at that time then uh, i can't hear mr dr rani i don't know whether he is still on air yes yes was be we are again uh, connected to uh, okay uh, so we have lost that line to uh, dr rani we will 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 connect to him soon uh now the point basic point is uh the point which dr a w rani uh made the vpp leader who is the opposition leader uh in meghalaya is that he disused the word illegitimate arrest of the ksu leaders in the isamati case and subsequent case uh we don't know what the government version is uh why were the ksu leaders uh, uh, uh arrested in the first place uh what what is the opinion of the ksu uh uh Purbasa, our Silong correspondent is live. Purbasa, you heard there. Uh, uh, we'll connect to Dr. Rani to complete yes, his uh, perspective. Yes, Dr. Rani is connected, uh, was there? Uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Rani, uh, before you complete, uh, let me ask you a question. You use the word illegitimate arrest of the KSU. Why are you calling that arrest illegitimate? I am not anyone to say something legitimate or illegitimate, but I am basing on the protest of the people. There was. a community protest led by the ksu in chara police station they said without any evidence without being without taking the due course of the law the two people have been arrested and they were they were completely amazed of that action by the police and there was that reaction from from the community as a whole so sir what i would like to bring here is this people in the state they have been demanding for justice let me tell you what kind of justice that they demanded do you remember in the year 2021 there was a killing of the former hnlc leader in maulai out of which there was a protest public protest and then the government has instituted the inquiry committee until today the people do not know what happened who really was responsible for that act and they have not seen justice even the family members of the former hnlc leader are yet to see justice right uh, what i am trying to tell he, you here is this when when injustice prevail 
when the government fail to deliver then these things are bound to happen but I'm but, but, to but, but Ms. dr I, rani I, I, dr I, rani I, 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 dr rani now now you are saying that the government fails to deliver i take your point but isn't it the people of meghalaya who are electing the party uh, uh, w w w the party of their choice the people have elected the representatives they have given them the mandate and it is the duty of the government to deliver the needs and aspirations of the people and especially in crucial cases when there is injustice people needs to see justice right another point i i'd like your uh, Sir, as uh, I'm i'd you like a reaction dr rani is this uh, the recent incidents of seven petrol bomb attacks uh, who could be who according to you could be behind this and secondly uh, don't you think uh, it is spoiling the image of meghalaya and because it is one of the most uh, well known tourist spots because t tourism is a big revenue earner for a landlocked state like meghalaya you see sir the people of meghalaya they are peace loving people yes peace peace loving people but the government has failed it seems that the intelligence of the government also has failed, the intelligence mechanism of the government, because in the recent years, not only petrol bombs, even, even bombs also were, were, were blasted in the city of Shillong. Right. Uh, so we have witnessed that in, in, in the recent years. So it seems that from the intelligence side, the, the, the police department, the government of Meghalaya as a whole has failed. And ultimately, in terms of justice, the government has been perceived by the people as something to be partisan. Something right. I will, I will, I will, I uh, will, please something don't go away, Dr. Rani. Uh, yeah, hold your people. thoughts, hold your thoughts, Dr. Rani. Uh, I will go to our reporter. I mean, I don't know whether Ms. Angela yes, Rangad, yes, yes, uh, Angela Rangad is uh, oh, no. also with me. No, oh, we uh, have... okay. Uh, Purbasha, our Shillong correspondent, Purbasha, uh, March 27 incident where uh, two laborers were beaten to death in Ichamati and Dalda. Four persons have been arrested by the police, and again on the 10th of April, a Laborers succumbed to his injuries after he, along with two others, were assaulted by miscreants at Maulai Maro. And in that case, also one person has been arrested. But, Purbasha, nobody has been arrested by the police as yet for the seven bomb blasts, six in Shillong and one in Joai. Exactly, uh, Valbir, which uh, initially looked as a sporadic incident, now it has become a regular occurrence. Since 3rd April, we have since there were a series of petrol bomb attack and till now police uh, ha has not arrested anyone in fact the government even the police is tight-lipped on the matter police is not saying much in fact when we spoke to dc today the dc has said that there will be change in the strategy in fact uh, the sp is also uh, coming up with certain plans something contemporary plan and there will be certain change in the strategy but we have to see ultimately what is the result because everyone in Meghalaya everyone in Shillong wants to see what is the result and right till now no arrest is made and that definitely raises question that why no arrest is made right but, absolutely uh, Purbasa Purbasa when you were saying that the DC says that change in strategy will be uh, 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 adopted a change in strategy to crack down on the case so that clearly means uh, uh, Dr. Rani that the police Meghalaya police so far is absolutely clueless as to who is carrying out these uh, petrol bomb attacks because uh, don't you think that it is going to send out a very bad image across the country Dr. Rani oh, okay sir yes we from the BPP we condemn we condemn all these attacks be it the killing of the innocent people be it the petrol bomb blasts we condemn to the core and this has been uh, a, a, a negative image to the state and has got a big big impact on the life and security of the common people and it it will have an impact even on the economic activities of the people and if the government fail to control the situation i am afraid 
that there will be curfew, something of that sort, where people will be losing their uh, yeah, daily, uh, you know, uh, uh, activities, and so on and so forth. This will have an impact upon As the life of the people, right yeah. from the students up to the daily members and everyone. Right. Uh, Dr. Rani, you know, as an, so from, from as an opposition party, political party, uh, as an opposition political party, uh, how can the v VPP, how can you assist, how can you uh, uh, lend your support in resolving these issues? Uh, yes, you have made your point, you have, you have accused the government of having failed. But my question is, as an opposition political party, as an uh, important political party in Meghalaya today, how are you going to contribute in defusing the crisis? That is up to the government. If the government approach the party, if the government is willing to call for an all party meetings, all political party meetings, then some sort of a discussion can take place, then some inputs can be given. And we are here to serve the state in every possible way. We are not only here to criticize the government, but if there is need, to tackle the situation like this, the BPP is here for the service. So, are you, are, you, are, you recommending, the are you recommending, are you suggesting that uh, the state government should immediately call an all-party meeting uh, to discuss this issue? Because seven petrol bomb blasts in a state like Meghalaya is not a small matter. Exactly, sir. The honors, the responsibility lies with the government. It is up to the wisdom of the government how to deal with the situations. But if the government is inefficient, if the police department is not up to the mark in its capacity, in its functioning, in its efficiency, right. then these things are going to get worse in the near future. And Must we don't, we also we don't have want with that us to happen. Uh, Angela Rangan okay. joining us. Uh, uh, at this point, I would like to thank uh, Dr. A.W. Rani for joining this special broadcast. Thank you very much for your points. I am now at this point joined by Ms. Angel Angela Rangad, a well-known social activist joining me live on this broadcast from Shillong. Ms. Angela Rangad, as a, as a Shillongite, uh, how do you feel? Seven petrol bombs, six of them in Shillong in less than a month. Two of them, two of the blasts took place yesterday. Uh, is there a fierce psychosis among the people? What do you have to say? I think it's very unfortunate that there is this kind of uh, breakdown of uh, law and order and these threats to um, police stations and the police almost as a warning that, uh, you know, we don't want you to do, to do your job. Uh, and uh, in all of this, I think, uh, uh, comes um, uh, against the backdrop of those other incidents of violence that have happened uh, in the state. And... Uh, we need uh, we need law and order to be restored. We need uh, the police to act, and we need the state government to be serious about this. A government that uh, had uh, big plans about having a billion-dollar economy for the state uh, cannot handle a law and order situation, yes. which is directly connected uh, to our economy, to people's livelihoods, to a sense of security. I think is indicative of a government that is unable to do its job. Now, now, Miss Rangad, uh, you see, uh, you know, the, whoever is throwing these, carrying out these petrol bomb attacks, they are absolutely defiant. They have attacked the Maulai police station. They have damaged a vehicle. They have even hurled a bomb, petrol bomb, at the residence of the Meghalaya deputy chief minister, Mr. Dhar. They have also attacked the vehicle of a retired major general of the Indian Army, who is currently a director in NAPCO. So these are very, very aggressive people. They, they, they are almost like challenging the, the authorities. Uh, you know what, Piz, the other thing also, which I think is very important for us to concentrate on, is also this um, atmosphere, which has been created across the country now in the last uh, few years, and also in our state, of an absolute impunity. We've seen impunity when it came to illegal coal mining, Everybody is doing whatever they're doing, flaunting the law. That gives a signal to everybody else also that purpose chalta hai. You know, you break the law, we will turn the other way. And similarly, with instances of violence that have happened in the past few years also, there has not been a serious attempt to actually nab the culprits and bring them to book. 
what would you assume. yes wh what would you like wh miss rangad what would you like to tell chief minister conrad sangma and now he has two deputy chief ministers mr preston tingsong and mr dhar uh, so what would you like to tell these three top guns in in meghalaya now you know in meghalaya i think as i said there impunity is rife when it comes to all sorts of uh, law breaking by those in power as well as those who actually are um, are defiant as you say to this same uh, the power you know that be at the moment and there are also these elements now there are some political parties there are some groups that are also creating an atmosphere of impunity an atmosphere of hatred and violence and that i think is also something that needs to be addressed it is not okay absolutely for people for leaders especially to be giving you know lectures to be giving um uh, public speeches which incite or which talk about you know this is our land in khasi shnong la jong ek atmon which means it's our place we do whatever we want that is not right absolutely actually uh, call the bluff yes on all of people who are representatives of certain political parties and certain groups and this kind of creating of an atmosphere of impunity fear and violence is not acceptable Absolutely Ms Angela Ranga there thank you very much for your views on this very very important topic the terror that has been created in the Meghalaya capital Shillong and its vicinity by petrol bomb attacks the plus police appears to be clueless and if they are not clueless they are definitely going to speak out on the issue and notice live will be the first channel to play up the police version or for that matter the government version we welcome the police or the government government versions to come up so that we can we can uh, enlighten the public about what's going on and of course notice live will always appeal and want peace in not just in shillong but and uh, the entire northeastern region with that it's a wrap of this bulletin over to you uh, priya in the studios right uh, wasveer uh, thank you so much for all those details so viewers there is uh, been a rise on petrol bomb attack cases in shillong not one or two but seven cases so far in less than a month so who are these miscreants who is behind these incident and uh, what is why is police failing to control the situation well these are some of the questions rising at this point in time so news and updates continue on northeast live stay tuned for more